Robust Digital Expert Enthusiasts Hey, Digital Enthusiasts! Welcome back to the Robust Digital Expert channel, your go-to digital cafeteria for developing top-notch skills. If you're hungry for career growth and ready to unlock a realm of opportunities, you're in the right place. And hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all things digital. At Robust Digital Expert, we're not just experts, we're your digital companions. Whether you're a beginner or looking to refresh your digital skills, we've got a spot for you. No need to be a guru, everyone's welcome. Whether your goal is to be a business analyst, project manager, data scientist, or delve into artificial intelligence, We've curated over 130 possibilities for you. But it's not just about learning, it's about real-world application. Our live digital projects and work experiences immerse you in the challenges you'll conquer. And guess what? It's not all serious business. We've sprinkled in masterclasses on self-love, mindset mastery, and personal development because we believe a holistic approach leads to true success. Ready to embark on a brighter future? Head to our website, link in the description, for more details and secure your spot in the Virtual Mentoring Academy. Don't miss out on this life-changing experience. Join us, where digital dreams become reality. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one. The title of the playlist The Business Analyst Acronyms and Glossary The title of today's episode Horizontal Prototype The Table of Content The Table of Contents Definition We initiate with a precise and comprehensive definition of the acronym emphasizing its significance within the realm of the field. Origin We delve into the origin or source of the acronym, providing pertinent background information and historical context. This aids you in understanding the emergence of the acronym. Detailed explanation We unpack the acronym, meticulously breaking it down into its constituent parts. We elaborate on the meaning behind each element, exploring specific terminology and associated concepts. Relevance to the field. We explore the importance and relevance of the acronym in the field. We discuss how it addresses specific needs, resolves common challenges, or embodies key concepts within the discipline. Usage. We illuminate practical applications by describing how the acronym is employed in various scenarios. We explain the contexts in which the acronym is commonly used and its contributions to the field. Examples of application. We provide tangible examples showcasing the real-world application of the acronym. We illustrate how it is utilized in diverse scenarios and elucidate its benefits to processes or outcomes. In summary, we conclude with a concise summary, encapsulating the key insights covered in the episode. This brief recap ensures a solid understanding of the acronym's nuances and applications.
Definition A horizontal prototype is a type of prototype used to explore requirements and designs at one level of a proposed solution, such as the customer-facing view or the interface to another organization. It focuses on a broad range of features but with limited functionality depth, highlighting the system's interface and user interactions. Origin The concept of horizontal prototypes emerged from software development and design practices where there was a need to validate user interface designs and gather user feedback without building the full functionality of a system. This approach allows teams to understand user interactions and preferences early in the development process. Detailed explanation Scope. Horizontal prototypes cover a wide array of features and interface elements at a high level. They provide an overview of the system's look and feel, focusing on user navigation and interaction points. Depth. Unlike vertical prototypes, which dive deep into specific functionalities, horizontal prototypes provide limited functionality. The goal is to represent the breadth of the system rather than its operational depth. Feedback Mechanism These prototypes are used to gather early feedback from stakeholders, particularly end-users, about the user interface and experience. This feedback helps refine design choices before significant resources are invested in development. Representation. Horizontal prototypes often take the form of wireframes, mock-ups, or low-fidelity sketches. They visually represent the system without extensive back-end processing or data handling. Relevance to the field. User-centric design. Horizontal prototypes play a crucial role in ensuring that the design aligns with user expectations and needs. By focusing on the interface, they help identify usability issues early. Cost efficiency. Developing a horizontal prototype is less resource-intensive compared to building a full system. It helps in making design decisions and adjustments without incurring high costs. Stakeholder engagement. These prototypes facilitate better communication with stakeholders. Visual representations help stakeholders understand the proposed solution and provide meaningful feedback. Usage. Requirement Gathering Horizontal prototypes are used during the requirement gathering phase to capture user requirements and expectations regarding the system's interface and interactions. Design Validation They help in validating design concepts and user workflows, ensuring that the proposed design meets user needs and business objectives. Early testing. These prototypes allow for early usability testing, helping to identify and rectify design flaws before moving into detailed development. Examples of application. E-commerce website. A horizontal prototype of an e-commerce website might include the main navigation, product listing pages, search functionality, and shopping cart interface.
This helps gather user feedback on the overall site layout and navigation without developing full back-end processes for each feature. Customer Relationship Management CRM, system. For a CRM system, a horizontal prototype might showcase the dashboard, customer profile interface, and reporting views. This allows users to provide input on the interface design and usability, ensuring the final product meets user expectations. In summary, A horizontal prototype is a crucial tool in business analysis and system design, focusing on the broad representation of a system's user interface and interactions. It allows for early feedback, cost-effective design validation, and enhanced stakeholder engagement. By prioritizing user-centric design and usability, horizontal prototypes ensure that the final system aligns with user needs and business goals. Make a difference by giving. Thank you for being a part of our community across the Shore Word for today. Start here with Jefferson and Robust Digital Expert. Your support is invaluable to us. By buying us a virtual coffee, you're helping us continue to produce content that inspires, educates, and empowers, making a difference in the lives of others. Together, we can make a difference and reach even more people. Thank you for your generosity and for believing in our mission. Make a difference today by clicking the link in the description. Thank you for watching and listening. Thank you for being part of our YouTube journey on the Robust Digital Expert YouTube channel. We appreciate your support and encourage you to subscribe to our channel for unique educational content. You'll never miss the latest updates, new playlists, and exciting content by subscribing. Join our community of learners and professionals and gain access to a wealth of knowledge. We value your feedback, so please comment on our videos and let us know what topics you'd like us to explore. Subscribe to the Robust Digital Expert YouTube channel and embark on an exciting journey of knowledge and exploration. Thank you, and we look forward to having you as a valuable member of our community.